Hey there, and now I'll talk about pawn majorities. So a pawn majority is simply having more pawns than your opponent. On this position we see that white has four pawns on the queen side, and black has only three. Therefore white has a pawn majority on the king side. So one idea for white will be to push his pawns in order to either attack or to get a passed pawn. Now here we see that black has an extra pawn on the queen side, white has four pawns against three, but we see that these pawns are doubled, the pawns on the c file. This is another disadvantage of double pawns, is that they cannot create a pass pawn, so here if black pushes these four pawns, black will not be able to create a pass pawn. But last but not least, on this specific position, black has very good pieces, black also has two bishops, and they will be controlling lots of squares, so this position is fairly balanced. As said, one of the ideas of pawn majorities is to create a pass pawn. On this position we see that material is equal, but black has two pawns on the queen side, and here after the move c3, and after taking and taking, black will get a pass pawn, and if black manages to promote it, black will get an extra piece and attack white's king. In fact, in the game, white was unable to stop the pawn after the move knight to e3, rook to d2, rook to c1, rook 4 to d3. We see that black slowly improves his position, and in the end, after knight to d1, rook d1, rook to e1, takes, queen takes, queen d4 check, queen to f2, c2, and we see that this is another common theme, which is to transition to a winning ending, because we see here that after the exchange of queens, then black will play rook to d1 and push the pawn. In fact, black already has a winning position. In this case, we see that white has a pawn majority on the king side, and on the other hand, it is a bit hard for black to push his pawns, because for example, after c5, this pawn would be weakened, so that's why in this position white pushes the move f4 in order to not only create a pass pawn but also here to attack. So this is another idea when you have a kingside pawn majority you can also try to attack. And here black played the move queen to f5 trying to block this advance but here white played very precisely knight to d1 in order to come to e3 and attack the queen. By the way queens are normally not very good blocking pieces. Normally a knight here would be much better. So the queen is not going to stay here for long. And after f6, knight to e3, queen to d7, queen to d3, we see that white slowly improves his position and is ready to start an attack on black's king. And after taking, well here white took. And now we see that we got this position where white has two extra pawns on the king side and black has two extra pawns on the queen side. But we see that white is moving his pawns much faster than black, so that's why here white has a clear advantage. In fact here after the move knight to e6, f5, white kept on pushing the pawns, and after knight to c5, queen to d4, already white has a serious advantage, and won the game quite easily. And last let me mention another related idea, which is that pawn majorities are not always an asset, sometimes they can be attacked. In this position here, we see that white has two pawns on the queen side against three pawns. And here white played the aggressive move b5. And this is called a minority attack, when you have less pawns than our opponent and we attack the other pawns. And the point here is that after exchanging pawns, here black played knight to e5, and after white exchanged more pieces, then white here took on c6, and in the end here black got one pawn, but this is an isolated pawn which is not very advanced and is quite weak. White cannot capture the pawn straight away because here black would have this trick of taking on d3 and after we take on d3 black would take the rook and win a piece. But as we see this pawn is fairly weak because after the move rook a to c1 we see that white slowly will increase the pressure here. And this is a weak isolated pawn so here white is the one pressing. Pawn majorities can be used to create pass bonds. They can also be used to attack, but also remember that having a pawn majority is not necessarily an advantage. Pawn majorities should have good mobility in order to exploit them.